declination backlash. Okay then, so we have uh, done our best to combat the uh, backlash in Right Ascension. And since, well, it's the same mechanics really to declination, it would be nice if there was a way to combat this. Uh, could you do that in, in balancing perhaps here? Well, there's a way to do it, and what you do is that you, when you do your polar alignments, you go for a slight imperfection in your polar alignments. And what this means is that when you start tracking on a star, you'll see that it starts drifting either north or south. And then you will uh, simply, all you have to do is that you will tell the guide software only to send guide pulses uh, in that direction. And this means that it will, uh, if it drifts north, you'll send guide pulses to go south. If it is slightly on the other side, south then for instance, then it will use the natural drift to get back on track again. And that is usually quite enough, um, at least for, for well, this kind of setup. Um, if, uh, if you have big motions, then uh, maybe the misalignment isn't enough to pull it in place um, quick enough for you not to have star trails, but you might actually get it back in for next sub or something. But simple thing is actually just a small misalignment in your polar alignment will cause a drift, and then you will just uh, use that drift to <coughs> only be guiding in the direction that causes the to compensate for the drift. Because then, back to finger meshing here, if your drift is, if north is that way, south is that way, and if you're um, uh, have a drift north, you only ever want to be guide pulses to to guide it south. If this is your worm wheel and that's your worm gear or worm shaft, so that means that you're only going to have contact in this side of the of the worm wheel, only be pushing it that way. Um, so you don't gonna be jerking around in this little displacement between the teeth. You're not gonna get contact with that because you're never gonna guide that way. So that should be a nice smooth motion. Uh, you might be fancy and just uh, try to figure out that if you do your misalignment in a certain way, if you know which way you're gonna have your drift, if you know which, where your target is and how your drift is, then you can do a little imbalance here as well to make sure that you have a weight, you know, <coughs> uh, a weight displacement to ensure that the teeth that you're engaging is actually, you know, the ones that is that the mount want to be in contact with. <coughs> but that's a bit of a trial and error. Let's work with it and see where it comes. And but simple, simple to start with is your slight miss polar alignment. Yeah. What are you doing, Balti? Huh? You bored? You bored? Well, oh, it's astronomy here. Yeah, exciting stuff. We'll see you tomorrow night. Yeah, you'll love it.